Welcome to Cary Matters. I'm Council Member Jack Smith. And I'm Mayor Harold Weinbrecht. We created this program, Cary Matters, to help keep you informed about the issues that council members are working on for our community. And today we're going to talk about the food waste recycling drop-off sites and how to start using these locations and other useful tools on our website to support your participation in our food waste reduction initiatives. Sounds like a great topic, Jack. During a recent study, we found that 27% of residential waste in Cary was food waste, which jumped to 44% when including other compostables. Those figures really highlighted the need to focus on reducing organic waste. We opened our first location at the Cary Citizens Convenience Center on Dixon Avenue as a pilot program. And our pilot program not only met, but exceeded expectations. And I'm thrilled we've made it a permanent operation, now expanding to a second location at Mills Park. Now you may be thinking, that is great for people who are always composting. But we're here to tell you that it is easier than you think to get started and to be an active part of the town's efforts to reduce food waste. That's right, Jack. And if you're interested in learning more about this initiative, there's a lot of information on our website. And today we'll cover a couple of things to know about Cary's food waste recycling drop-off sites. So if it grows, it goes. We recommend collecting your food scraps and other accepted materials in a kitchen caddy or other convenient container. It may be helpful to line the container with a Biodegradable Product Institute certified compostable bag <laughs> or collect the materials directly in the bag. Other accepted materials include coffee grounds and filters, tea bags, paper towels and napkins, non-glossy paper plates, BPI certified compostable items, pizza boxes, and pet food. And once you've collected these items, then it is time to drop the bag or empty your container at one of the two Cary Food Waste Recycling drop-off sites. And then these sites are open to Cary residents and are completely free of charge. That's good to know. From tracking the success of our open data portal, Cary citizens can see the impact of these sites. To date, over 200,000 pounds of food waste has been collected, resulting in an estimated 20,000 pounds of compost that is returned to Cary and is used at Cary's Good Hope Farm, which supports the local food system through events and workshops, farm-grown produce, and resources for new farmers. Check out the progress anytime on the Open Data Portal to watch those numbers increase. Cary goes beyond just listing information on our website. Throughout the year, Cary hosts classes about composting and how to get started using our sites or even starting your own compost bin. And this initiative would not be possible without the citizens, council members, and our Environmental Advisory Board who advocated for this pilot. And a special shout out to our community partner, Towards Zero Waste. Not only for all their efforts with our programs, but they were instrumental in helping to kick off the Lockmere Homeowners Association new voluntary compost initiative. And Lockmere's very first collection yielded 355 pounds of organic material that puts them on track to divert nearly three quarter of a ton of material from the landfill every four weeks. Wow, way to go Lockmere. Towards Zero Waste is a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting waste conscious living in North Carolina through inspiration, education, and action, and has partnered with the town in our successful environmental initiatives. You may see them leading our courses as well as welcoming citizens at the food waste recycling drop off sites to help with any questions as items are dropped off. It is truly a community effort. And initiatives like these strengthen our commitment to the environment together. Cary is setting an exemplary standard in effective waste reduction and sustainability. Well, that's it for this edition of Cary Matters. 
Your time is important, and we hope that what we've shared with you has been valuable and that we brought you closer to your government. So let us know what matters to you, and maybe we'll talk about it on an upcoming episode. Until then, thanks for watching Carry Matters and thanks for choosing to call Carry home.